the number of new listings is the lowest in over 20 years. Wow, this just makes me want to cry. So we have the lowest inventory of houses for sale of the last 20 years and prices keep climbing and what it means for you. All that and more in this month's housing update for the Phoenix and the metropolitan area coming up. What has happened in the last 30 days? Well, we have less houses for sale and therefore prices went up a little more. So what's new? This sounds a lot like last month's update actually, but bear with me. Over the last six weeks or so, 2,000 new listings hit the MLS, but over 2,300 went pending. 2,000 houses for sale sound like a lot, but it is actually the lowest count in 20 years and we are still at a deficit. And this is what's causing the overall supply of homes to consistently drop and the competition between buyers to escalate. 45% of sales recorded through the MLS have closed over asking price in the last 30 days. So how much do people go over the asking price, you might be wondering? Hmm. The median amount over asking price for all price ranges combined is $10,000. But the range was as low as $1 and as high as $300,000. This is taking into account all of the houses in all of the price ranges of the last 30 days. So if you have a budget and you are a buyer between let's say $250,000 and $400,000, which is what I call the frenzy zone, then the number is more. The real percentage selling over list price is around 55% of the homes with a median amount over asking of $10,000. And this is last month's numbers. So I suggest you go a little higher this month in order to get that house. And every price point, had sales recorded at above asking price. Between $400,000 and $800,000, 42% of the homes sold over asking with an escalation of $15,000. Between $800,000 and a million was 30% of the homes sold for over asking. And from a million to two and a half million, 20% of the homes sold for over asking with an escalation of $50,000 and so on. Supply is still 77% below normal for this time of the year and demand is 17% above normal and that is less than it was at the beginning of the year. So yes, you heard right, demand has been dropping faster than supply over the last 30 days, but don't get too excited yet because it is still too small to notice. I attribute the slightly less demand to the fact that many first time home buyers have been eliminated due to the hike in prices and interest rates and their frustration levels, I'm sure. So to put things in perspective, because we need perspective, December 2020, demand was at 35% above normal, and now it's at 17% above normal. So if this trend continues, demand could be at a normal level in two or three months. However, don't get too excited still, because this will not cause prices to decline, if that's what you were thinking because the tiny amount of listings in the MLS is so small and tiny that demand, even if demand normalizes, the lack of homes for sale is still over 70% under the normal level. So that's why prices won't drop just yet. There's also talk that the second half of this year could look, could look different from the first half, especially if there's a temporary boost in new listings after the forbearance period ends and the foreclosure moratorium is lifted. The pandemic shifted a lot of people and I predict that the buyers coming from more expensive markets will continue to migrate here to the Phoenix metro area because a lot of them, to a lot of them, prices look amazing by comparison. In fact, for some of them, the idea of being able to own a home and land is a dream come true. So we will see what happens. I will continue to look at the numbers closely and keep you informed. I hope this was helpful and until next time.